Hey everyone, welcome and thanks for joining us today on this edition of Tips from TTO, presented by The Rep. Uh, as always, I want you to follow us on Facebook at Red Earth Productions LLC. You can also follow the tax office at the tax office on Facebook. Um, check out all the social side. I know Megan, if you if you're looking for a connection on LinkedIn, check her out on LinkedIn. I know we're on LinkedIn as well. We've got uh, you've got a page on LinkedIn. I too, do. Don't you? Yeah, it's directly linked to. Uh, my, yeah, got lots of stuff <laughs> going on there. Make sure you make that connection. Follow the uh, follow our pages on uh, LinkedIn and Facebook. Uh, got some great stuff coming up. We want to welcome Megan the accounting and payroll business planning specialist from the tax office because we're more than a tax office. There you go. (laughs) It is. It is more than a tax office. And we're discussing the latest blog from TTO, addressing the challenges facing micro and small business. So we're going to talk about our third challenge listed in our blog, business growth and time management. Big ones. They are huge. Yes. I don't, they're in the, they're the top five. You know, big three, top five, give or take. So there's, uh, there's like ten. Because <laughs> you got, I mean, bi- everybody wants business growth. Yeah, no one wants right? to sit and you know do nothing. <laughs> but all of a sudden, sometimes it's just like I don't even have time to get. To I everybody. don't have time to get yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Yes. So, first thing we want to talk about is setting goals that are achievable. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Setting a goal that is a, you know, you can set three year or a three month, a year, three year, five year, but set goals that are achievable for you right now. Yes. Um, we have business plans. You have a five year plan, 10 year plan, but, um, you have to get the goal set in the month first before you can get to that five year plan. (laughs) You get ahead of yourself really. Yeah. 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 And I think, I think when you're setting those goals, you're looking at how do I want my business to grow? Absolutely. To where Mm -hmm. I understand by the time I get here, I know what I'm going to need. I know what I'm going to need and really working toward those things. Right. Yeah. Uh, Growth can happen um, too fast to where it actually hinders your business. It can um, stifle your business where you're not ready from a, um, a financial standpoint. You're not ready from technology standpoint. You don't have enough staff to handle that business growth. So taking your time and growing that and setting that foundation is going to be better in the long run. Yeah. Because if you don't have the infrastructure in place as your business grows, it can actually hinder you. It, it can it be can. disastrous. Mm-hmm. It almost. can. It can actually shut your business. I mean, it, it can shut your business down. Yeah. I mean, that's the reality of it. So you want to, um, it, it can, we, we're not trying to scare anybody, but you, you definitely want to, um, take your time, put that business plan in place, put the foundation in place. That way you don't grow too big to where it hinders you in the long run. Right. Yeah. And this is, these are all things that as a business owner, I'm a business owner, um, Right. Yeah. I mean, it, I work for, I work for the tag, but it's, it's a small business. It's a micro business. So I see those, those pieces of that puzzle every day. And everybody is dealing with these things and you work with small to medium sized business that's, owners that's all our the time. Mm-hmm. Every day you're looking at micro business. You've got those in, in every situation you're seeing that every single day. Every aren't day. You? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So our, our next point is, uh, as your business grows, how do you adjust your budget and and tax planning opportunities? Um, I, I think tax planning always needs to be part of the conversation. Um, what does that look like at the end of the year? Um, do we have you know what's our what's our profit? What's the tax bill going to be at the end of the year? I think that's huge. <laughs> always paying attention to that. Um, adjusting your budget, um, you know, as your business grows and you see that bottom line and you're showing that profit, um, utilizing that money where it needs to be, not what you want, what you need at this point. Um, you know, that five year, ten year mark, you might you might want want to, you know, upgrade something, <laughs> but right now putting that money where it goes, knowing that you're, um, um, it's going to create that future business growth versus that right now future so business growth. When you're talking about the tax planning, how, how, how quickly should you be, you know, as, as we're in tax season right we now, we are full fledged tax season. So <laughs> right now, as you're looking at <laughs> 2021 right right now always being always paying attention to that so as you're doing your taxes and your whatever tax professional you're using right, right absolutely yes you should be talking to your tax professional about 
2021 and what you see here oh, and absolutely. how that's going to go into the next year. Yes? Absolutely. Um, it, from a business standpoint, we're already six months into, you know, six nine months into 2020 from a business standpoint your marketing plan should be in place your uh, budget should be in place um i i would say that your bigger corporations have already started working on their budgets for 2021 so um you you may not be a big corporation but you need to have a mindset as a corporation and that, <laughs> that keeps you ahead of the game you're not behind the eight ball um your budgets they should not change but they should be in front of you on a consistent basis looking at them making sure that you're staying in line and then um i highly recommend every three months reaching out to your your tax guy especially if they do your accounting especially if they do your payroll they have those numbers in front of them on a monthly basis hey where are we at what are we doing um and you should be paying attention to that as well so there you go there every you go. three months on a quarterly basis looking at that so the last point we want to talk about here is time management delegation and making decisions about the tools you use for your company right as it grows as mm -hmm. it, how the dynamics that are in that so and time management and delegation are two big factors in software yes infrastructure how you set your business in motion yes y yes I, I think as a business owner sometimes um, you want to save money here save money here and then um, it kind of then you end up actually spending more money six months down the road so um, really finding out what tools you'll need, um, putting that money, investing the money into the technology, the software, whatnot, that's going to help you grow your business. Right, um, right. And uh, as we talked in our last blog, delegation is huge. Don't be afraid to delegate. You can't wear all the hats. Um, again, it will hinder your business more than, or rather than help your business grow. Um, and time management, that is a huge, um, I would have to say, I don't even think I mastered that um, yet. <laughs> uh, time management is huge and is especially as a business owner um wearing all those hats you won't have time management so <laughs> but i think i think time management comes to a focus of how how do you fit within your business where right. do those things how are other people how do you how do you set a workflow? Where does your time need to be spent? Yes. Absolutely. And um, it is definitely a learned behavior. Um, I have met managers, managers that are great at time management. I mean, they just flow. Sometimes I was a disaster, you know. Um, it, it's a, definitely a learned behavior. And um, you have to train yourself to where do where is my time going to be best spent? Is it with a team member? Is it in the office? Is it spending time with your clients, whatever the case may be, um, that is a practice you have to put in place from the beginning. <laughs> so that was a challenge for you. Oh, it was a, definitely a challenge for me because I have a, um, a very, uh, I don't want to say chaotic, I don't have a chaotic, but um, I'm very bouncy and I have to <laughs> focus into, this is what I have to do today. I'm a list maker. That is part of my, that was part of my development training. There you go. I had to make a list every day and make sure that list was done so I kept myself focused. And that's how you manage your that's time. That's how I manage my there time. Some people list overwhelm them. They can't work with lists. They have to kind of just find a project and run with it. Um, but you, finding out what what's going to work best for you and right. putting that practice in place will help you with time management. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, and as your company is growing, the tools you choose, software, whatnot, sometimes though, do you make the right decision just in software that manage time or do you look at outsourcing sometimes? I mean, whichever is going to work best for you. Um, there are companies that don't outsource it. It works best for them with the software that they use and they they're able to time management that within themselves. Um, outsourcing, it definitely takes a couple of hats off. So um, finding out what works best for you from the beginning will help you with, you know, in that future business growth. But uh, outsourcing is not a bad thing. Um, I, I think sometimes business owners look at that. Well, I can do that. I can do, I can save money there. Well, you're, you're hindering your business in the long run. Right. You know, find out what you can outsource or what you need to outsource and what you can do. Yeah. You know, Be and then work with that outsource together. Be a team together. Just because you outsource something, um, whatever, you know, your taxes, your payroll, your marketing, whatever the case may be, um, doesn't mean you're not, look at it as you're partnering with them. Yeah. You're not giving it to them. You're partnering with them to be better. You're working with them, not for them. They're not working for you. It's not just always about saving money because you right. may be like, you, you still, you may not even make money then. It's It could right. be hindering you from from growth it can. that 
you you think you're saving money, but you're not really in the long run. You're not mm -hmm. uh, building with everything your business. that you're doing. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You might be hindering it because you're not able to build your business because you're wearing that hat. When it would be a simple um, fix to outsource that and partner with somebody who actually specializes in that. Right. Most business owners aren't specialized in tax, tax preparation, marketing, financial um, planning, payroll. That's not your specialty because that's not what you went into business to do. Right. Um, right. So outsourcing that, um, I, I, I'm very big on partnering. You're a partner with somebody to help grow your business. There They're you there go. to help you. Yeah, exactly. So Megan, as always, uh, thanks for bringing this information to the show today. We you do appreciate it. Uh, there's some great tips for everyone to use. These are, 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 this is information that can help you with your business. We hope you find it helpful. And uh, if you find yourself overwhelmed by all this information, remember you can follow the tax office on Facebook at the tax office. Uh, you can check out the web at www.thetaxoffice.com. And as we say, it's the newly designed it's really pretty so check it out there's lots of great information and more to come too there's going to be resource pages um lots of numbers you know anything that you might need uh, for your business so keep uh, keep checking out there's more to come there you go there you go we hope you learned something today and remember since 1984 we're more than a tax office you folks have a great day